Hello everybody and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today's video is all about the stun grenades and smoke grenades that were released with 0 0.9 and you can purchase these from Prop or Level 2. If you've got Prop or Level 2 you will notice that the stun grenades are about just under 3,000 rubles each and the smoke grenades are about 4,500 each. I'm going to put a picture on screen now of how much they cost exactly as well as the fuse timers that they have um, so you know how long you've got from when you throw the grenade to how long it's going to take for the actual effect to happen. So the stun grenades have a 4 second fuse time and the smoke grenades have a 3.5 second fuse time. The 3.5 second fuse time is exactly the same to the normal RJO grenades or the F1 grenades. But basically this video is going to just be going over a hell of a lot of tests that I've done to kind of give myself an impression on what these sorts of grenades are like and then portray this information to you and then you guys can make an informed decision on whether you're going to take it out into a raid on a regular basis or not. So the first thing I think we should talk about is the actual size it takes up in your stash. The stun grenades take up only a 1x1 one one slot, so that's the same as any other grenade in the game. And then the smoke grenades, they take up a 2x1 slot, so you will actually not be able to carry these in your pockets, you'll have to have them in, either in a rig or in your secure container. So I'm going to be splitting this video into two halves. The first half is going to be talking all about the stun grenades, and the second half is going to be talking about the smoke grenades. So the first test I did with the stun grenades is basically getting a stun grenade thrown directly at you and then showing the effect that it gives off. So if you're staring directly at the stun grenade, it will make your screen go completely black for about 20 seconds and then your screen will start to, re you'll start to regain vision, your screen will start to brighten up, you'll be able to see stuff. However, you'll have this really big off-putting red sort of flare circle around your screen and that is rough that is a really rough thing for about another 30 to 45 seconds after that all of the blackness is gone but you've still got the red flare which does fade over time it takes about a minute for it to fade until it doesn't become an annoyance and then it takes an extra 30 seconds for it to fade completely so in total you're looking at about a hell of a lot of wait time for this to actually completely go. If you're staring directly at a stun grenade, if you get it thrown in your face, you've got 1 minute and 30 seconds of hurt just to get it back to normal again. And I think that's actually crazy. I'm glad. I said it in the change notes when I was doing a video for 0 0.9 that I hope they do it so it lasts a while. And it does. It does last a while. And I think they've made it so you get a few effects uh, onto your character, the blackening effect, you get the flare effect, they've all come onto the screen at once. So if you're staring directly at it, it's an absolute nightmare. So I recommend looking away because it does also cause the contusion effect, which makes your ears ring, it makes your vision go fuzzy, even if you're not looking directly at the stun grenade. So this was at point blank range, this was get it thrown directly at my face and it exploding. So there was plenty of other tests that I did. The next test that I did was looking away from the uh, stun grenade. All you saw was sort of the light from the stun grenade. No visual effects at all as you can see on screen. Uh, the only thing that really happened was your ears rang a little bit. You got the concussion sort of effect into your hearing, the ears ringing and all that sort of stuff. But that's where the stun grenade actually went off. You can't really avoid that just by looking away. I need to point out as well that if you are f have if you've got this grenade thrown at you but you're quite a distance back but you're still looking at the stun grenade it does still affect you in the same sort of way maybe not as bad you don't get the complete blackness effect um, as you do if you're basically on top of the grenade but you still get the red flare on your screen for about a minute and a half so it doesn't really matter too much about a distance to a certain extent these grenades still hurt for about a minute and a half. You've got this red flare on your screen. It's completely off-putting. You can hardly see shit. Uh, the actual stun grenades, they do work on scavs. These um, completely knock the scavs to shit, really. Uh, when you throw a stun grenade at a scav, they can't walk properly. They will bump into walls. 
they will shoot in random directions, they will not be able to see you standing directly in front of them. It's absolutely hilarious. We did this on Factory a few times, and the scouts were just looking up in the air shooting their Sega 12s. It was absolutely hilarious, and I loved every minute of it. And they eventually come round, but it takes them, again, a while. So this is perfect if you're doing your scav hunting and you find scavs OP as hell. It's perfect for scav bosses as well. Even though they do run from the grenades, it's going to be harder to catch them because they have a different AI. The stun grenades are insane, and they work on scavs, which is an absolute amazing thing. So now we're going to move on to smoke grenades. The smoke grenades last for about 30 seconds from the grenade being thrown to the smoke being fully sort of emitted from the grenade itself. It takes about 30 seconds for that to happen. It does start off slow, but once the grenade has had all the smoke and the gas fully emitted, it absolutely obscures your vision. Like You can throw that in a doorway and you can't see through that doorway. It's insane. We threw it in wide open spaces and it would cover quite a large area for what they are and it would cover it completely. You'd be happy to know that these smoke grenades also last a while. It takes about 30 seconds for the smoke grenade to actually fully emit the gas. So they are quite slow and they don't they don't cover a massive area while they're being emitted. You'd look at it kind of underwhelming. It looks a bit underwhelming while it's getting emitted. But then once it's fully emitted after 30 seconds it will last as a big gas cloud for another 30 seconds and once it's fully emitted it will completely block sight. It does this weird bug right now where it will block, um, it even cut out a red dot sight so the red dot on an actual sight would actually go as well. Uh, that is a bug, uh, they probably will fix that but for now that's what happens. Uh, and then after another 30 seconds of it being fully emitted, it takes another 30 seconds for it to completely dissipate. So that's, again, another 1 minute and 30 seconds. So it's kind of on par with a stun grenade. These smoke grenades actually are really quite cool. They do dissipate really well. If you throw them in a corridor, say in dorms or in factory or something like that, they do actually go through open doors. So the smoke will merge into other rooms as well. So if you throw it in a tight, narrow space, people are not going to see in a corridor. And you can also hide in rooms as well, because the smoke will just fade in for a while. Um, you can see through. Uh, if you've got a thermal scope, you can see through, obviously. Thermal does not, like, smoke does not obscure thermal vision. So you can see people through smoke grenades. But at this point in the patch, no one has them. So you're going to be basically fine using these smoke grenades. Um, we did see a couple of bugs with the smoke grenades. Uh, they do fall through the floor in factory, so be careful where you throw them, especially in the top floor of the free story in factory. Uh, we did have like 50% of the times we tried it, it did fall through the floor, so just be careful of that. And another thing, these smoke grenades do break the line of sight for scavs as well, so if you are running, you've got no ammo in your gun and scavs are shooting at you, and you toss a smoke grenade, once it's fully emitted, Scavs will not be able to see you anymore, you can hide behind that, you can move from one smoke grenade to the next, and they not, will not be able to track you very well. It's a very good way of obscuring your vision from scav bosses and normal scavs. They will shoot through it, randomly, the scav boss especially, and normal scavs don't seem to do this from our testing, but the scav boss and the scavs boss henchmen, they do shoot through it randomly, but they're not going to be accurate, they're not going to pinpoint accuracy you, they're just going to be shooting through it randomly. So to summarize, basically, the flash grenades, they apply roughly four effects to yourself. They give you that flare effect on screen. They make everything dark as shit so you can't see anything if it is, like, close range and in your face. It makes everything go blurry and you get the concussion effect where your ears start ringing and a high-pitched noise goes through. Where it's, like, it's similar to when you get shot in the helmet and you've got that blunt damage sort of effect. That's the sort of Disneyness that I'm trying to talk, to, uh, talk about. The blackening effect only happens when you are looking at a flashbang, so if you do look away, you don't get that effect. And if you are far enough away, you won't get the dark and uh, dark. And if you are far enough away, you won't get the blackened effect either, you'll just get the flare effect. The smoke grenades do last for a minute and 30 seconds, just like the flashbangs. And I personally think these are very, very, very good when using them against AI and players, they are very, very effective. In my opinion, I will be taking these into raids, and I've seen plenty of people taking them into raids because of how effective they are right now. 
But anyway guys, that is everything I can tell you about the smokes and stuns. Please let me know if you're going to be using them down below in the comments. And if you did enjoy the video, toss a like on the video. Tell your friends about me. I'm sure they want to come to my bedroom. Let's just um, have some fun times. If you are looking for a group in Escape from Tarkov, there is a link in the description to join my Discord. There is over 900 people in there waiting to lobby up with you guys. If you haven't got a group to play this 0.9 patch with, go in there. Spread your friendly faces around. I'm sure there is a group of people in there that will absolutely love you. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. You thought this video was over, and I thought it was too. But, a little surprise for you. If you've got someone that hasn't got the game at all, but really wants to play, or maybe you want your brother or your sister or your wife or your husband or whoever you've got you want to play 0 0.9 with them for 14 days in the description of this video there is a trial key for 14 days free for escape from Tarkov courtesy of one of my very good friends Riley in the discord he's just giving me a code for you guys so that's in the description first one to claim it gets 14 days free for someone that hasn't got the game so just go just go get your get your wife a happy happy love day present or happy I want to get in bed tonight with your girlfriend sort of present you know I'm sure they would love 14 days free of a video game that's the best thing you could ever do to anyone thank you so much everyone that's just a little thank you on behalf of me and some of the people in my discord I love you all see you later